Hello, as a director, I have a particular love for bringing in a double to show off some special skill that the actor doesn't have. Like here in the movie Wanderlust, there's a scene where Justin Theroux's character is supposed to be an amazing guitar player. Of the wind. So we cut back and forth between Justin's face and the real guitar player's hands, or we hid this cut in a whip tilt. For wider shots, we did a comp with green face covering on the guitar player. And in this setup, we just did the classic trick of putting the guitar player's hands into Justin's sleeves. But a lot of the time, I like to make the use of the double completely obvious for comedic effect. I remember first seeing this on Late Night with David Letterman many years ago. Jeez, I wish we could go ice skating because, man, that would be great. So he and Paul Schaefer grab their skates, get in a cab and go to Rockefeller Center, and then they go out on the ice and you realize they've obviously been switched out with professional skaters. I kind of find this endlessly amusing and I'm always looking for ways to do this, sometimes more obvious, sometimes less so. Like for example, in the Wet Hot miniseries, we had Paul Rudd's character arriving on a motorcycle. I'm late. Or the character I played, Yaron, was multi-skilled. We tried to have him doing something that I personally could not do in every scene. In the original Wet Hot movie, we really leaned it in the joke, having a stunt motorcycle double for Joe Latrulio, very obvious in one scene, and then in a later scene, even more obvious. In our show Stella on Comedy Central, we did this a lot. Like here when we were skateboarding, here riding bikes, and here when we were doing a dance number to impress a co-op board. In this shot of Michael Ian Black, we really go for the obvious. And then in They Came Together, we hired two members of the Palabolas dance troupe to add some erotic acrobatics to a sex scene between Paul Rudd and Kobe Smulders. In Wet Hot 10 years later, we had the idea to take this a step further, subbing in the stunt people for shots where there were no stunts of any kind happening. I thought it was really funny, but ultimately we didn't use that one. One too many things going on. Anyway, thanks for watching and let me know any other topics you'd like me to cover. And subscribe if you like or don't, whatever. Yay, hi.